August 18th, 2022. My first day of college. You know, I've always been a very independent person. And as a kid, I always imagined and dreamed of this day. Of being on my own and being free and being able to do my own things, get my own groceries, go to my own classes, wake up on my own. I just love the idea. Today, I finally get to do that. I've had a lot of pictures of what today may look like. So, I decided to take my camera and see what pictures I actually get. As I biked to class, I took a couple of pictures of some things that I saw. When I got to the building that I was supposed to be at, uh, it's called McComas, I think. Uh, I forgot my lock, so I just left my bike just there. Uh, I'm a pretty trusting person, so I think it'll be all right. What seemed like a maze, I found myself lost in the building trying to find my class. I finally found room 202, and it was rhetorical theory, my first class on campus. And besides not knowing how to spell rhetorical, I had to ask my Alexa this morning what rhetorical even meant. After class, I sat down and edited uh, on my new powerhouse of a laptop, the MacBook M1 Pro Max. I'm excited about that. So after this, I went to my next class until we got out uh, and I had about an hour break until my next class. So I walked around campus and took some pictures. I really enjoy this picture the most, I think, because of how the building that I captured is encompassed by the trees. And I'm not sure if I liked portrait or landscape, so you tell me. But after this, I took a picture of my favorite person on campus. Hello. Hey. Where are you going now? The kinesiology fundamentals. <laughs> Bye. It's a big crowd. After I dropped Alex off into her smart people class, I walked over to get some lunch. But my interests were piqued about some protest that was happening in front of it. Maybe a little bit frustrated, to be honest with you, because I don't know. I want to apologize as a Christian for radicals like these who were protesting this day. The God I adore would never shove anything down your face this aggressively. He would probably serve or love you first. Just ate some bomb lunch. About to meet Alex and go to class again. Well, how was your first or second day of class? It's my first day. This is her second day. I feel like it was more college y today. Psychology? College y. Oh. <laughs> the classes were big, big. Like 200, 300 like 200 people. people. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, haven't, I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to have that, that kind of class. Communications. Communication major, hashtag. I was with a bunch of freshmen. Mm -hmm. Well, um, where are you headed now? Cool. I'm done. Um, we got one class. One of us more class eight. <laughs> one of the things I'm most excited about being in college here is being able to spend it with someone like Alex. I look back on pictures that I take of her and memories we have and I smile every time and I'm excited to make more of those memories while we're here. I'm officially done with classes. One of the many reasons I thoroughly enjoy photography is for the adventurous side of things. I really enjoy walking down a street or for this instance uh, a campus and just taking pictures of things that I normally don't look at it invites me to see different areas where I would just walk past if I wasn't looking there was a moment uh, a week before I went to college where I just started weeping in my truck because so many dark thoughts and doubts crept into my mind in regards to my faith and I guess I kept asking myself and, and questioning if what I believe in and what I pursue is it actually true 
or am I just wasting everything that you know life has to offer by following rules or expectations that a God in heaven that I've never heard or seen before physically is it true in this season of doubt I just became extremely bitter to the world around me and I'm just scared that when I go to college that when I get exposed to things that I've never been exposed to and when I'm able to have freedom that I've never had before I'm scared of what I'm capable of I'm scared that there's something else out there that's better than God but when I was having these these dark thoughts and I was weeping and I was just confused and scared I, I began to cry father father just talk to me why do you not talk to me why do you not show me yourself so that I can know that what I'm doing is actually worth something why do you hide yourself and I think these are coming out of a place of just desperation and selfishness to be honest with you and I mean he hasn't come back and shown me this miraculous sign or he hasn't just talked out of a voice from the heavens and told me like I'm here I'm here but since then God has grown me and strengthened me because of me doing one thing of me being okay of not knowing and having all the answers if you were a college student if you are on the brink of leaving your faith if you are on the brink of of it because of doubt, because of fear, because of whatever that is, you're questioning everything. Let me tell you, it takes more faith not to believe in a creator. It takes more faith not to believe that you were created for something more. I know that Jesus died for me, but what I don't know I'm gonna be okay with. And my hope is that when I go throughout college, I will be okay with not knowing all the answers and living my life every single day at a time, seeking and depending on the Father. I still hope he talks to me, though. That would be pretty nice. But for now, I'll just wait. I'll wait for the answer.